much for tuning in to the PHNX podcast brought to you by the one and only DraftKings Sportsbook app, America's top rated sportsbook app. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe wherever you get your podcasts and leave us a five star review. I'm Leah Merrill here with Craig Morgan and Steve Peters as always. And today we are very, very excited to be joined by a special guest, Arizona Coyotes third overall pick in the 2022 drafted prospect, Logan Cooley. Thank you so much for joining the PHNX Coyotes podcast. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks for squeezing us into your day, buddy. I know you're on a tight <laughs> schedule here uh, and, and a fluid schedule, too. But so let's get right to it, Logan. Um, first thing we want to know, obviously, generally, how's the first season going at Minnesota? How, do you, how are you adapting to college hockey and how is it working for your development? Um, yeah, for sure. Obviously, it's uh, been a little adjustment just getting to the getting used to the school aspect. Um, you know, being at the NTDP, we didn't really do too much school. I don't know if I should be saying that, but uh, <laughs> actually going to class, uh, it's been a while. So getting used to that part, and then obviously the hockey part, get, going gets older, um, stronger, faster guys. It's it's been a little adjustment, but I feel like I've been uh, adjusting so pretty good so far. Is it good from a development standpoint? Do you think collegiate hockey is a good path for that, you know, to, for your ultimate goal of obviously getting to the NHL? Um, for sure. Obviously, it depends on the player, I think. But, you know, for me, uh, my goal is to continue to get bigger, stronger, faster. And I think, you know, coming to college, um, you know, we're lifting every day. Um, we have the, so many resources here. So I think, you know, for me, this was a no brainer just to, you know, continue to develop my game. And, you know, I really liked it, the way it's been going so far. You, you talked about that at the NDP. And one of the differences you talked about is the education part. And it's college hockey. So half of it's in the name that you're supposed to go to school. How hard has that been to juggle with the hockey and going to class? Um, yeah, I mean, I was fortunate enough to get into pretty easy classes. <laughs> <laughs> I go plan your future, biggest. Logan. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of school, but you know, it's <laughs> like you said, it's the it's the part of the part of the plan here. And um, yeah, obviously, you know, meeting new classmates, uh, meeting new friends outside the hockey world is is awesome too. And you know, I've developed uh, a few friends, on, you know, on the, the baseball team here and little things like that. So it's it's been fun so far, and you know, I'm happy the way it's going. I, uh, I'm going to tee up Petey here. Um, I don't know if you know that Steve Peters is from Minnesota. Yep. So we might go down a rabbit hole here where, you know, we spend the next, I don't know how many minutes talking about Minnesota. So <laughs> I'm just going to hand it over well, to there's Petey nothing, The only thing I got to say about Minnesota right now is, I don't know if you know this, Craig, it's winter. Like <laughs> It's almost, it's like, I don't know. Logan, we, we're not going to tell you to hit the portal yet, but have you been <laughs> to, you're going to Arizona next week. This weekend. Well, this Is it this weekend yes. already? Yeah, it's this oh weekend. my goodness. You're going to Arizona and you're going to be in this, buddy, the weather. It's 72 today. 72 degrees and sunny. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but well. you've, you, in the NDP, you've dealt with the winners before. Is the Minnesota winner, that's no, no challenges, no problems with you getting around campus or getting around town, is it? No, not really. I mean, you know, all my classes are, um, you know, like five minutes away from the dorm, so it's not bad. And then the rink is super close, so that's really not a factor at all. Um, you, you know, Minnesota is a really tradition-rich program. There's actually a few former Gophers on the Coyotes or former Coyotes, Goligoski, Nick Bugstad, Travis Boyd. What's the experience like playing at a program like Minnesota that has such a, you know, rich history? Um, yeah, I mean, that was one of my main reasons of coming here, just the, the players they produced here and, you know, just the – you know, the name they have here. I think anytime you get to represent um, the University of Minnesota and, you know, just set how good of the hockey program it is and, 
you know, playing in front of the student section here, it's, it's sold out every time. So it's such a, such an amazing feeling coming out there and, you know, playing in such a big crowd. And, you know, obviously the team we have is, is a pretty special group too. And a, a group that I think could go pretty far. It's funny. I don't know if you know this, but back in the olden days, in the eighties and nineties, Logan Cooley wouldn't have played for the Golden Gophers. Do you know why? Because he's not from Minnesota. That entire roster, huh. staff, and coach were all Minnesotan in the late 80s, early 90s. Anyway, mm-hmm. for, for know. what it's worth, this team is is ranked top three in the nation, depending on what poll you looked at, as high as one in some but, and two in others right now. What are the expectations for the Golden Gophers this season? Um, yeah, they're really high. I think even coming into the season before you know, we even stepped foot on the ice, the expectations were pretty high. So I think you know, for us, we're just focused on in the room and – you know, continue to get better. Obviously, there's still a lot of work to, you know, get done. And so we have to prove on a lot, too. Um, you know, we have, I believe, 11 freshmen. So, you know, we're a young group. We're still uh, looking to gain more experience. Um, yeah, but, you know, I like the way we've been playing so far. Obviously, our decor is, you know, I think the best in the nation. So, um, you know, we have a great group of guys in the locker room, great staff, and, you know, we're heading in the right direction. So Arizona hockey fans are really proud of the players who are from here, born here. And your teammate, Matthew Nyes, is one of those, an Arizona-born player. And then another guy, Jimmy Snuggerud, was um, ranked in the top of this year's draft as well. What's it like playing with those guys? Um, yeah, they definitely make uh, the game easier. Um, we push each other in practice. That's a big thing. Uh, continue to get better every day. And, you know, playing with a guy like Matthew Nyes, he's 6'3", makes – Makes it easy and makes room for me and my other linemate, Jimmy Snuggerud. Uh, he's a heck of a power forward. And then obviously with Snuggerud, he, I think he is, you know, one of the best shots in the nation. So playing with those two guys um, is unbelievable. And, you know, they've all been really good so far. Logan, I got to ask you about a move that is becoming popular with, with younger players in the NHL. Some people call it the lacrosse move. Other people call it something that you probably don't like, the Michigan. <laughs> Would you like to rebrand that move? Should it be called something else in your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of a tough one. I think uh, Svechnikov has been pulling it off lately in the NHL, so maybe we give it that. But, you know, I definitely don't want to call it the Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it'll be the, the Cooley eventually. I don't know. Maybe it can be. <laughs> what is, so you're, obviously you're coming out here this week. Um, there's a lot of expectations, a lot of anticipation about you with the Coyotes community. A lot of people are going to get the chance to watch you play live. What are your own emotions about coming to play at the Mullet? Yeah, I can't wait. I've actually watched uh, a few NHL games on that sheet. And, um, you know, I saw the student section when ASU was playing, too. So, um, you know, I can't wait to get down there. It's something that, you know, I've been looking forward to. Um, You know, it's been circled on my calendar for a long time now. So uh, to play in front of that student section and those fans, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, I don't know what an NHL player said it, but I heard he said it's like the best ice in the NHL. So I'm really looking forward to getting going on it. How much are you able to keep track of the Coyotes in your busy schedule? Um, yeah, I mean, usually during the nighttime we're free, so um, anytime I don't really have any homework to do, I see if they're playing. I actually watched the one last night against Nashville, so anytime I get the chance to watch them, I do. And you know, it's always fun to stay up to date with them and see how they're doing. So um, yeah, I, I'd say I keep up with them quite often. We talk about your development too, and you talk about NDP, where you have the opportunity to play against some of the best players in the world in your age group. What have you worked on specifically in your development path that you've worked on at the University of Minnesota? What have you improved on or what do you still need to improve on while you're at school? Um, yeah, I'd say uh, continue to get stronger. Um, it's kind of just been my thing. Um, you know, since being at the NTDP and coming here, um, you know, just playing its order, stronger, faster guys, you need to continue to get stronger. And for me, um, being able to continue to put on weight, um, continue to be hard to knock off the puck, um, be stronger on draws, little things like that that will translate to the NHL. It's been a few things I've been working on. The other thing we're talking about, the NDP, and you get to wear the red, white, and blue of the USA. I know the World Juniors are coming up. Do you think ahead to that at all? Is that something you've got on your radar, having the World Juniors? I know a lot of college kids get the opportunity to play in that. Is that something you're thinking about now, or are you just worried about day by day? Um, I'd say yes and no. I mean, anytime you get to represent your country, it's – you know, one of the best feelings you could have as a hockey player. So um, obviously it's in the back of my head, but, you know, I'm kind of focused on just the University of Minnesota and uh, continue to grow my game, continue to help the team win. And then obviously going down, uh, going to ASU, 
I'm um, really looking forward to going there. So that's kind of been my main focus right now. All right, another another question about your plans before Leah's got a game. I think that that she wants to play with you here in just a minute. But every Coyotes fan wants the answer to this question. I realize there may not be an answer to this question at this point. When might when might we see you as a permanent Arizona resident? What do you think? <laughs> that's kind of a tough one. I mean, I, there's still a lot of work to be done this year. Um, you know, my goal is to you know hopefully play there at the end of the season. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's going to come up to just with the staff things, uh, the development team, um, just the state I'm in. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, I don't want to rush and, you know, struggle. Obviously, you're going to struggle in the NHL. It's the best league in the world. But, you know, I don't want to go in there and, you know, not be my best. So I want to go in there when I'm, I'm NHL ready and, you know, when I can help the team win too. So everyone's really excited about you here, all the Arizona Coyotes fans. So I want to help everybody kind of get to know you on a personal level more. So I have a game for you. It's called This or That. I'm just going to throw out a bunch of stuff, this or that, and you pick one or the other. Pretty basic. Um, so I'm going to throw out a couple, and we're going to start with, you know, it's Thanksgiving this week. So first this or that, Thanksgiving or Christmas? What's your choice? Uh, Christmas. All right. And then – Turkey or ham, and that goes for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Turkey, not everyone's favorite. So for you, turkey or ham? I'm going to go with ham. Okay. He eats tacos, by the way, on Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah what's wrong with that? that? <laughs> True. Yeah. When in Arizona. Um, are you coffee or tea? Uh, tea. Okay, interesting. As far as hockey movies go, if you've seen either of these, are you more into Slapshot or Goon? Uh, I'd say Goon. All right. This one's a big one because you kind of got the both worlds here. Hot weather or cold weather? Hot. All right. That's, that's a good answer <laughs> for what's ahead. Um, Apple Music or Spotify? Spotify. All right. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. All right. You're like locked and loaded on all of these. No hesitation. <laughs> um, all right. Ocean or pool? Ocean. All right. Unfortunately, California hasn't fallen off the, the coast no, yet. We don't we're, have We're hoping to be here. coastline. Yeah, it could be yeah. oceanfront property lots in Arizona. Of pool, lots of pools here Never in Arizona. Never. Do you guys have any this or that's for uh, Logan? No, but I, I am wondering because he is in Minnesota now, and I've seen he's got the sick flow going. Yeah. So he's on the verge of the mullet going, so hanging True. off the back of it. So he's got the Minnesota going. I love it. So I'm kind of <laughs> excited to see him cruising around the mullet with that uh, with the, the, the locks flowing. What is the chatter, by the way, with, with Maddie and I's? And obviously he knows Josh as well. I'm sure you know Josh on some level. What's the chatter about this series? I'm just curious what you guys are saying. Um, about playing each other? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at development camp, uh, me and Josh kind of joked around, um, like, who was going to win. And, and that. But, you know, I might have to uh, catch up with them and see what the bet still is on it. But, yeah, obviously, you know, they're a heck of a team. Uh, we have a heck of a team, so it's going to be – you know, a battle for sure, and I'm really looking forward to get going with it. I know a lot of, like, oh, so many people are so excited. This game is, like, standing room only, these these two games coming up. I'm just really excited to see not only Minnesota, which is a top team, but to see you come into the mullet for the first time. So I, I can't wait. Yeah, no, I, no I, doubt I, about we're, it. We're going to we'll be, be there, there on, on we'll be Saturday. There. Yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere. It's no Mariucci, but it's, it's uh, a little bit exciting. Oh, oh my just God. Say it. It just say it. <laughs> oh, no, it'll be good. It's going to be a good, it's going to be a great series. Yeah. All right, Logan, listen, we know you have a busy schedule today. Really, really appreciate you carving out some time for us, and we'll see you soon. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Logan. Thanks, Logan. Appreciate you. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you again to Logan Cooley for mm. taking some time to join us today he he is like confident in every answer i appreciate that and i also appreciate how much he just like is ready to admit that he hates school <laughs> that was great that was like, hilarious but it, but like it's every honest, kid ever right? born yeah. like literally right. honest good, good i know i love it i love yeah. it so you know the matchup this weekend against arizona state it's going to be tough for asu um, right now the line on DraftKings for friday's game minnesota is minus 220 favorites arizona state's plus 180 underdogs you can also bet on puck line and the over under which is currently set at six and a half um, in that game and you can find that on the DraftKings Sportsbook app if you're going to the game if you're not might be fun you know he talked jokingly talked about having a bet with uh, Josh Stone but you can place a real bet on the DraftKings Sportsbook app um, if you'd like or before then the NFL games on Thanksgiving are coming up so lots of opportunities to win yourself some money on the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now download the app use the promo code PH 
HNX, place a $5 bet on any NFL team to win their game and get $150 in free bets if they do. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code PHNX. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. And, you know, Thanksgiving, it's on Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's a big eating holiday. You got to be around family. Maybe if you want to just grab yourself a bag of OGs beforehand. <laughs> I know. Is How about like that? A, a coping mechanism? Yeah, is a coping mechanism. <laughs> hey, the whole family can enjoy it if you're 21 and older, that is. Um, I, I I mean, it's a great... Or, you know, a little gift for uh, for your... That you bring if you're going to someone's Thanksgiving. That's Even your, grandma your, can enjoy your, I mean, who says no? <laughs> She's over 21. Um, we love OGs here. They have amazing mm -hmm. flavors. Orange creamsicle, pina colada. You can, you know, use them to help you get to sleep and stay asleep. They're just great for all occasions. And I'm excited to take some on Thanksgiving. And as always, you can find them at your local dispensary. But you must be 21 or older to enjoy. Well, I'm. I feel like Logan Cooley is ready to play at mullet full time. <laughs> I don't know. If, I'm glad you jokingly asked him about transferring because that is the one question Sean. Yeah, I'm wanted. sure the Minnesota officials listening in on this were really happy about that too. So yeah. <laughs> no I was, tampering. I promise. I was, I was just talking about the weather. <laughs> but <laughs> his answer to the weather question was he prefers hot, which will oh, I mean, be good for him in the. He's got good sense, years. right? We talk about his hockey sense. He's just got good sense overall. Yeah, that's just. Smart. Why would you want him to stay somewhere cold? I don't know. He said pancakes over waffles. That one's a tough one well, for me. Buddy, to I would agree you with him. Cardboard waffles with. I, I mean, I'll eat. I'll eat either, syrup, obviously, but I'm just, a good waffle is better than a good pancake. I'm just you saying. Really, don't have many standards. When I, it comes <laughs> <to> <laughs> you're, I mean, not, you're not wrong. We're not trusting <laughs> trusting Sean. Um, well, right now, through 13 games with Minnesota, Logan Cooley has oh my gosh the four stat goals. just four goals eight assists for 12 points what do you expect for logan for this coming weekend at asu and just the season in general i i mean he's he's in his first season and he's he's played well I, i'm sure he thinks there's another level to his game um so uh, you know production wise i think he, he he could probably take it up another level as he adapts to the college games as the season wears on he's playing with talent as we just established with jimmy snuggerud and, and matthew nyes a lot of the season so there's a lot of opportunity for him to take it up another notch, but I'm sure he's going to be just completely jacked for this this weekend series, right? Yeah. You're coming to the place where you're going to eventually play pro hockey, so that's that's a pretty emotional time for him. Yeah, and, and it's funny because we talk about development all the time, and, and this is a player that we've talked about for almost a year. Yeah, I, yeah I think we were his talking. name was on our radar a year ago at yeah. this time. You know, we we're talking about Shane Wright. At, a lot, but Logan Cooley's name was right there yep. uh, in the middle of the ice, and we thought he was a good fit here. But now this is the important time for the rebuild. It's an important time for his development. And I'm going to get on the college soapbox for a little bit because <laughs> he said we have a lot of resources here. You don't wish for anything. Between the gym, nutrition, um, education resources. The other thing I thought was really interesting, too, is what he said that he's met people outside of hockey. Yeah. And and one thing I think the college experience gives you that I don't think you'll get in Canadian Junior is you meet people in different walks of life that have different life goals and different plans other than athletics and sports. And I think when you're in Canadian Juniors, that's your life. I mean, you're 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 in hockey. I think this is just a better life experience going to college. Um I'm thrilled that he chose this path and it's not hurting his hockey development at all you talk about the players he's playing against every single day in practice and in games are, are some of the top players in, in the nation right now so i i think the path is great mm. you asked him when it's over i don't know yeah i don't know if this is a one and done question. we've seen one and done with kyle Turris, and i i think the thought process was split between the management and coaches here and maybe what was best for the player at the time i think Bill Armstrong has talked about over baking. I don't know if there's going to be a rush. I don't know if it's going to be, if it's better for him to stay another year in the NCAA, I, I don't see the team going, Hey, we got to get him out. We got to get him out. I, I don't know if that's going to be the case yet with Logan Cooley to his point. It's way too early, yeah. way too early to decide. And yet Dylan Gunther's here. So it's, it's hard to read, right? Yeah. Right. A little two, bit of a two very different paths though yeah yeah it yeah. is interesting the junior versus college because junior they play more games but mm -hmm. that's kind of their only focus this they play fewer games but emphasis on practice and also you know i know he joked about having easy classes but you do have to kind of 
learn to balance your life like and as someone who has been I mean we've all been freshmen in college forget about playing an NCAA division one sport just trying to learn to manage your life as a freshman is it's a big challenge the difference is and I've seen it in training camps here with kids there's no question the kids that go through Canadian junior are prepared for gameplay. That's their, it's a mini NHL program. That's their life. Like it, it's everything that they're going to experience here. It's their entire day. It's all you talk about is hockey, hockey, hockey. So they're prepared in the day to day. But what the college kids seem to be more prepared for, they're, they're really good practice players because they practice more often. So they understand, understand drills better and they get through the practices better. And they're also better in areas like the weight room and nutrition. Yeah. And most importantly, when they have to go live by themselves, they've hooked up electricity before. They've paid bills before. Junior kids go to billets and they don't have to deal with those mm. real life issues that you deal with and become a more well-rounded person yeah. i yeah. guess and it's not just like and that's i'm not knocking this because some of the best players that have ever come through the coyotes organizations have gone through junior hockey so i'm not knocking it i'm just saying it prepares you differently but i do and, and when you when you talk about that it's it's tradition right it's tradition to go to canadian juniors i, I wonder how how many consider it as a, an alternative and i think it's changing I, I do think more and more considering it if, if i'm if i'm being honest when i look at these two models I like the college model better than the junior hockey model for developing whole human beings, like the whole holistic approach. And you mentioned the weight room. That's something that we always talk about with prospects. Got to get bigger, got to get stronger, got to get faster. Well, what are these, especially like the Big Ten University or Arizona State, what do they have that junior programs don't have? They have first class training facilities, unbelievable facilities. Junior teams don't have that. They don't have the money. And it's not even just the facilities, thing. Craig, it's the access to the people that know how to use those yep. facilities. Yeah. And that's specialists in weight training and nutrition and physiotherapy, all of those things at a Big Ten university like the University of Minnesota or ASU. Uh, these major universities have access to more resources. They just do. It's not a knock on the junior programs at all. I'm sure they have some lovely weight rooms. I know they do. They have great weight facilities in some of these junior programs. But I tell you what, yep. you go to the University of Minnesota – and look what they have for their weight and training facilities. And that's a big 10 university. They're just going to have different and more resources. Exactly. That's all. You're servicing not just hockey. You're serving the football team. You're, you're servicing the basketball team. Yeah, you, you got to take it up a notch. And, and they it, do. And they have the money. And you're seeing it, it now that the, you look at this year's draft class with Slavkowski, Nemec, Cooley, Wright, and, and Cutter Gauthier. Of the top five, two of them are in college right now. And I don't know if you would have said that five even 10 years ago that that you had two guys in the top five that play ncaa hockey i I don't think that's the case you go back 15 years it's absolutely not the case Mm. where those kids are all canadian junior kids in the top and we're seeing more canadians go the college route too i think that's the difference it used to be college is the route for americans junior is the route for canadians but you see adam fantilli i mean he went the college route too so you know it's and logan of course is, is american but you're seeing more and more of that also. Yeah, and you so. see Kale McCarr, Owen Power. Like it's some pretty darn good hockey players that played in the NCAA. Yeah. No question. So. Definitely. Another thing that I thought was cool, he said, you know, um, at development camp, he and Josh even just jokingly, you know, talking about meeting up in November. And it, it's cool to think, you know, a year ago, Logan Cooley wasn't drafted by the Coyotes. And now he is. And now he's had all these experiences and just to think, you know, what's to come, the fact that he and Josh already have this little camaraderie relationship. And those are hopefully the core yeah. players that are going to be part of this team going forward in the years to come. And it's ex- and when you think hear about championship teams, it's the core, it's the core, it's mm-hmm. the core. Logan Cooley is kind of the first one of the first and main pieces in building that core. So, yeah, it's just something that's really exciting to to think about. Yeah, I, I, I'm get him up here with Bedard and Gunner. And good to go. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm excited to see him live. I'm, Me too. It's yeah. cool to get this chance. Me yeah. too. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people are. Um, I, ha- I literally have game time pulled up on my phone right now because I wanted to confirm that there are tickets available. And there are. There's tickets for Friday's game. Um, there are some in 
the sections, not just standing room. Um, and, and for Saturday's game as well, if you wait till the day of the game, it'll be the cheapest for you. Um, they're definitely a little bit more expensive than a regular ASU hockey game, I think, just because of the nature of the opponent. Um, Minnesota's obviously a top-ranked school, and then, of course, the Logan Cooley yeah. Coyotes tie in there. Um, but you can find those tickets on game time, whether for that game or any Suns, Cardinals, Coyotes, when they eventually come back to town. So check out game time for all of your ticketing needs for sporting events, events, and more, and you can save up to 60%. When you do buy them last minute and when you buy them, please use the link in our description below. It's the best way to support us as well. And I talked about Thanksgiving. I talked about the football games and betting, but there's another way you can earn some money, and that is by playing fantasy or a pick'em game. Um, I like to do that sort of thing. Um, you especially for pick them you just pick higher or lower like how logan cooley was answering the this or that, that some people struggle do. like i'm the worst decision maker ever well, there was no hesitation in yep. any of his answers nope. no it. zero like for me i would say well i like pancakes for this reason but waffles hmm, eh, nope just blah so Nailed it. that's why i like the pick em game on underdog fantasy higher or lower that's all i have to decide or uh, you can do daily fantasy for any sport there's also tons of world cup stuff on there so if you're a soccer fan or if you're a once every four year soccer fan like I am admittedly um, just just some fun another fun way to consume sports. So Underdog has a great offer right now. Um, if you sign up for Underdog, download the app or go to UnderdogFantasy.com. Sign up with the code PHNX and Underdog will match your first deposit up to one hundred dollars. So as soon as you put your money in the account, they'll match your deposit. So go ahead and do that today. And uh, also, if you're in our diehard Discord. Let me know if you ever want to do a daily draft because I'm down. PD and I have done them together. Yep. We'll probably start to organize some some diehard oh, only yeah, that's a good drafts. Idea. So get get download today promo code PHNX and uh, put some money in there. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, all right, anything else on Logan before we get to our other topics? No, but I just I think for Coyotes fans, it's important to keep an eye on him. Like keep an eye on him through his Gopher thing. And we're talking about the World Juniors coming up. It's a big tournament for them because the Americans struggled in the one that they had in the fall. And I mm -hmm. think this winter tournament is going to be extremely important that he and that team plays better. I don't think he was a key cog in that offensive wheel that he had anticipated. Um, the Americans need to be better. And it's it's a chance for him to be on a world stage. So keep an eye on him and we'll, and we'll see where his career heads. But, but he's in the right place at the right time. Yep. Well, we've said it again. The Coyotes fans are really excited and you guys had the chance to chat with some Coyotes fans. We haven't even really talked about the fact that you went to the open practice at the Ice Den on Saturday. I wasn't there, but just through the pictures, it looked like an unbelievable turnout at the Ice Den. Yeah, they generally get good turnouts at these open practices. Excuse me. <clears throat> <laughs> and I know they're going to do more of these. Uh, you know, They, they want to bounce it around the Valley. Obviously, they start in Scottsdale. That's their, their practice home. But they'll be in Chandler. They'll be in Gilbert. Hopefully a lot in Gilbert, just <laughs> for yeah. proximity, two or three, for you want to do two or three, you want to do a whole week in Gilbert, that's cool Ride with me. a bird scooter uh, to But it's, it's good. It's it's good outreach, right, for the community to get people, allow people to come to practice. They uh, they, they ran a longer practice. Andre talked about that as well. You don't want to give them a 45-minute yeah. practice. You want to allow them to see a lot of things, but there's engagement. Howler's obviously there. So it's it's just smart for community engagement in my opinion. Yeah, and they did autograph signings. You got to get you felt like you were a part of it and you got to be close to the players. I thought they did a great job. Um unfortunately they're just not here enough to to throw in a lot now. <laughs> the second half of the season they'll have the ability yeah. to do more. Yeah. <sighs> Good PD side there. Well, because we're going to get to the next thing I'm assuming. <laughs> so, Craig had the idea of going into the practice. He wanted to chat with some people and there was some leading questions, Craig, in your interviews. Yeah, Maybe. I mean, I thought they were fair questions. Um, which you don't really get a full sense of in this video, which we edited together. So thank you, by the way, to the, I think it was five people who well, he spoke we had with. one. Do we have to? No, it's it's a, he you made got it. it. He made the, it. He made the oh, final cut. That. And but, by the way, and my, one of my questions was cut out of this interview. I want to put that out there too. Yeah. Apparently, you know, there was I, not a lot of appreciation for the content I provided. No, but. I was I edited I edited Craig for once. Yeah. The tables yeah. turned. <laughs> I'm going to apologize first off though before we even get to it, <laughs> because technology is a big part of what we do here, and sometimes it doesn't always work. <laughs> and I know CWP was there as we struggled through microphone mishap after microphone mishap. 
Charles actually filmed it a few times. It was like going to the movies and action. And then Charles <laughs> did the same and he, he was, right. it was, it was good. And, <laughs> take two, and I will take, take complete responsibility for the microphone mishaps we had throughout the day. It was completely on me. I am working to be better. Sorry, Craig. <laughs> but we made it work. Cause well, sorry, Craig, for all the time and effort works. you put in. And I not just Craig, best. the people who we talk to. So I think without yeah, further and ado. Apologize to everybody. Some of these don't sound as, as good. That That's on me. But thanks again for everybody that takes the time. Because not only do they take the time to answer Craig's questions that were moderately biased. But, <laughs> but, but they also stopped and talked longer than that. And they talked about getting a chance to listen to people talk about hockey. So it was really nice to hear it from them yep. I mean it was nice it was great and I'm glad people stopped us and visited with us it was it was really nice definitely so I think without further ado here's uh Craig chatting oh with some Coyotes fans at the Ice Den on Saturday who is your favorite Coyote uh Shane Goss's bear Clayton Keller it's gotta be Nick Schmaltz they know they know That's the maybe the most important question you'll answer today who is your favorite PHNX Coyotes personality? Fantastic performing on the Coyotes. That's a great answer. I, I, we, we almost could stop the answer Seriously? Right there. I got no fear. Oh, that is hard. Since she's not here, I'm going to say Leah Merrill. I'm talking to her. Well, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get all the inside scoops and all the details we need to know, Craig, so it's got to be you. There it is. <laughs> Can you name every rumored relocation site for the Coyotes over the years? Uh, Winnipeg. Quebec City. Portland, Seattle, Houston, Quebec City. Houston, Kansas, Portland was a possibility at one point. Houston, Omaha, Tulsa. <laughs> what is goaltender in appearance? Who knows? Oh, look at this crew. Well, it depends on who's refing. <laughs> Have NHL officials actually read that rule? I don't believe so. Okay. I don't believe so. It. So, what you didn't see <laughs> is the way Craig asked the question which was edited out. I don't know what you're talking about. Who is your favorite PHNX personality and why is it me? Yeah. <laughs> so that's why everyone except for one. So thank you to the person who said me said Craig. Yeah. I also had a shiv in their back. <laughs> <while they were laughs> answering, so. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, I noticed there were no PDs in that whole bit and I'm standing right there. <laughs> like, really? Oh my gosh. Oh boy. No, it was a lot of fun. The, it was, was a lot fun. of fun. The, the part of people listing all the cities is so funny to me because it's just like Coyotes fans have been through so much bullshit and yeah. like, but it's look. It's hard. Nobody got all eight, by the way. Well. They got yeah. enough. Yeah. They got the gist. Do you want to name all eight? Should we? Sure. Okay. So Hamilton. We know Hamilton. Yep. Quebec. Winnipeg. Let me think. Kansas City. Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Seattle, Portland, and Houston. Those are, those are the eight primaries. There may have been some, you know, bad Hartford rumors or like somebody throwing it out. But and, well, let, let, let's be honest. The only place that had ever really happened, and Petey can attest to this, was it, it almost happened in Portland. Yep. That's close. We, I was looking at houses. That's but a true story. I just think it speaks. It's a funny moment, but it just speaks to the, the passion of this fan base. And, you know, like for everybody who poops on coyotes fans like everyone's showing up on a saturday afternoon to to watch yeah. their favorite team practice and you know the the games at mullet have all been sold out so far that this community lo loves the coyotes and when you you talk to logan cooley you get excited about mm. what what could be what could be so i it's it is really exciting and i'm sorry i wasn't there i'll i'll try and make it to the next it was fun we had a great practice. time we had a great yeah, time thanks did. everybody that stopped and said hi yeah, yeah. absolutely so um and as always, we always do tons of events. So, you know, Craig is usually at practices and games, but we always have events usually at Four Peaks. So and that's in Tempe, which we've talked about the great location of Tempe and how central it is for a lot of people. Um, we're at Four Peaks a ton and there's a ton of opportunities to go down there this week, especially with the World Cup going on. Mm -hmm. the, yesterday's watch party with for the U.S. game was lit. Just talked to Max. They were outside um, for the game this morning too, like – Hours before their normal open. Um, the, the vibes for watching Team Mexico. Team Mexico unreal. Yeah. There was a unreal. breakfast buffet this morning. The ri rising coat. I literally always say the rising, but you're not supposed to say the rising. You're not? Just rising? Rising. rising. Yep. Rising head Learned. coach um, Juan Guerra Heard was there. Check. There were 
tons of drink specials and those are going to continue throughout the week um, so stay tuned on our social media and give phnx i think it's underscore underscore rising a follow double on the Twitter. underscore double yeah. the fun as Owen absolutely would say. Wow. absolutely um so tons of great events coming up at four peaks we love four peaks and gra- you can grab it wherever you grab your beer and you'll find links to all the events as well in the description below and you must be 21 or older to enjoy Four Peaks, and I mentioned possibly doing some stuff in our diehard Discord. If you could, wanna... we have a diehard Discord Four Peaks. And do you have Four Peaks for Thanksgiving? Are you going to have like a pumpkin porter? Yeah, I have could, a chill. Could we already. do like a a diehard Craig Morgan Thanksgiving? And we just all go to Craig's oh. house for pumpkin porter, and we yeah. get all the diehard. <laughs> and Craig's wife, um, kind of like sure. potato mix. pie. And sure, stuffing. come on over. Um, we won't be there. <laughs> kind of mix that thing where they do, you know, like we have Thanksgiving Four Peaks, Craig Morgan. Buddy, there hard. will be a party at Shea Morgan what, at some point soon. This is what, this spring. By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out there right now. Not what? that I'm throwing out the invitation for everybody here. Okay, so it might die not be a die only. only thing, but. I'm going to have a St. Patty's Day party at my house. Wow. For the PHNX staff. Really? We're planning it. Buddy, the, the, <laughs> the new material for the flooring got dropped off today. We're going to have new flooring in. It's kind of, we've got a new roof, unexpected. Got a, a block pipe, <laughs> unexpected. Got a lot of costs going down at the Morgan household right now, but we are still planning for a St. Patty's Day party. Wow. Literally speechless. <laughs> Let's go. There it is. Uber. Um, can I order my Uber now? Uber to Gilbert. <laughs> I'm gonna a, Uber to Gilbert. Uber. I'll have to get a hotel stay. Speaking of living in the bougie territory, buddy, yeah. where do you live? I'll uh-huh. have to get. I'll yeah. get a hotel room there. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. wow. There you go. Yeah, but but PD inviting everyone to your Thanksgiving with your punishment for saying who's your favorite personality and why is it me? Yeah. So <laughs> that's what you get. But if you want to become a diehard, get access to our Discord. Get access to 20% off at the Merchandise Locker, 20% off events, um, and a ton more, including some premium content, including Craig's mailbag that he published yesterday. You can also curate that content to your favorite fandoms for whichever sports in Arizona you love. Become a diehard. It's, it's it's a great thing. You get a free shirt or hat when you sign up. You, and every single year after, and like I mentioned, all those discounts and more. So lots of perks to being a diehard and a lot more exciting stuff to come with that as well. And with the holidays right around the corner, head on over to the PHNX Locker on Black Friday, which is just a couple days away as well. You can save up to 90% off everything in the locker. And when you spend $75, you'll get a $15 gift card. So if you click on our link below for the page next locker, you can start adding stuff to your cart. So you don't forget, but definitely head on over to the locker on Black Friday. Fantastic. You mentioned punishment, by the way. We still need a punishment for Sean DePuss. Yes, we do. 4,000 followers. We, we're there. We haven't got, nobody sent ideas in I the Discord. I feel like we can punish him with food because he's literally willing to eat everything. I know. I know. So it has to be something else. I know. I don't know what it is. Let's by this time next week we will have a punishment idea. Yeah, hopefully. I sure. will give. I will set the deadline. I'm, I, you notice I'm not saying shit because I didn't <laughs> do mine in, in a timely fashion. So DP, whatever, like whatever, <laughs> whenever, we'll get to it. Craig and I followed through right away, I and I, I and I have faith that Sean will too. Yeah, he, uh, my my biggest thing is that I've already bleached my hair for a punishment my I, it's yeah. gonna take a lot no, we're not trying. shane just held up trail mix i'm not trying to kill sean he has a nut allergy my co-host oh, consistently wow. consistently it's usually toe tree but my co-host consistently threatened me with peanuts <laughs> it's unbelievable sean needs to rep a kansas city chiefs jersey patrick mahomes hey all respect to patrick mahomes koala uh, appreciation there, essay mahomes. Five paragraph double space MLA sources cited. <laughs> <laughs> Why koalas are a great animal. <laughs> that could actually Listen, be that really could be it. We like, put it we just put him in a diehard like only content. On I can't lie. Just put him in a koala enclosure. <laughs> there aren't koalas in Arizona. I've already looked into this. All right. Oh, oh boy. man. Well, let us know what you think um, in the Discord on Twitter, and let's try and have something by next week at this time i think so any final thoughts before we no, just what we today? got coming up but we have a thanksgiving show coming up don't we we do well we have one more post game show tomorrow mm-hmm. uh, the hurricanes game will be live after that one and then thursday while you're doing your cooking or if you need to go take a walk and get some space from your family i, I by the way i love my family so me like making all these <laughs> jokes about like getting away from my family mm-hmm. i love my th- family thanksgiving is our sure. favorite it's holiday you drug them i, I know no. what, um what's going but on here. Um, we'll have a Thanksgiving audio-only episode dropping Thursday. It's just going to be 
you know, lots of fun. And last year, I remember you were talking about the, the decoration on your door that you love so it's dearly. Back. So we might have to get into that again. So that'll be dropping on Thanksgiving and then post game Friday. And Craig and Sean and I are headed to the Minnesota ASU game Saturday. So we'll have tons of content from there. And then Sunday. the Minnesota, the Minnesota, Minnesota, the Minnesota, Minnesota. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Minnesota, you betcha, for sure. Wild. Don't Just wait. Just yeah. wait. We got Busy some, week, so. Maybe some fun Minnesota stuff planned. Yep. We'll see. Absolutely. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in today live in the chat or for those watching or listening later. Thank you again to Logan Cooley and uh, the Minnesota Golden Gophers for getting that all set up for us. And everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. You can follow each of us on Twitter at Sean underscore to pause at Craig S. Morgan at Leah Merrill at S. Peters Hockey. And of course, follow us on Twitter at PHNX underscore Coyotes and PHNX Sports across all social platforms until then enjoy the rest of your tuesday everybody and we will see you tomorrow